Hey guys, my name's Corbin, and about eight months ago, I made this desk boot design for my CNC and released it as a free download. Now, it's been working great, but I decided to make it just a little bit better. So the main problem that I've been having is my cheap Amazon brushes, they just tend to fall apart and kind of pull out. The quality of them just isn't very good, and the way I would actually install them is there's a slot in the bottom here, and I would just hot glue gun the brush into the slot. That works pretty well. Sometimes you can pull it out by accident. Uh, it's actually a nice feature because you can pull it out and glue in another one. But I wanted to try a higher quality brush. So I bought one from McMaster Car. They're a little bit pricier than what you could buy on Amazon. But what I noticed about them is they had a neat little T shape at the top. So that got me to thinking, why don't I design the brush to just slip into the groove and not have to have any glue. And this idea has worked pretty great. The quality of this brush from McMaster Car is a lot better than the cheap brushes that I've found on Amazon, and I've been pretty happy with it. I made another few little tweaks, such as removing one of the back tabs. I decided I wanted to have my particular one have a little bit higher height. Again, that's adjustable in the Fusion 360 file, if you saw my first video, so you can kind of tweak it to whatever you want. But really, that's about it. Well, that's almost about it. One of the things I did change is eventually I did break my clamp and over time just squishing it back and forth again and again broke it. But that type of problem is easy to solve in the 3D printing slicer software. I just decided to add more reinforcements in the area around the clamp. And so far this has been working pretty well. So anyways, go ahead and download version three of this CNC dust boot. Again, I released it for free. Links in the description. Thanks everyone. Oh yeah, and if you've already printed up version two, my last version of the dust boot, you can just print up a new bottom and it's just exactly the same layout so it will work with your existing base. And here's the easy way on how I install the brush hood onto the base. I just stick some matching magnets onto the base and that way they're oriented in the right direction. I put a drop of CA glue in the pockets in the dust hood portion and just push it on up. The glue is good enough to hold it in for just a brief moment and I slide it off and that's pretty much it. And then I can slide in the brush. Bye.